Hello, I'm in my little van, eh? and I'm in uh, the Galloway Forest Park. I got my new clutch fitted, uh, uh, whether it was yesterday or the day, I'm unsure. I dropped the van off at uh, the car off at 9 o'clock yesterday morning and didn't get it back till uh, 2 o'clock today. Uh, but I've got a new clutch and it was a decent price. Uh, thank you ever so much to everyone that donated. Um, I managed to bob us a couple of quid. Uh, Hey, thank you. I'm going to put all your names on the end of this. Uh, and I'll tell you what, I'm going to use a large font as well. A little piece of my heart. And you are all shareholders in a tiny, uh, tiny camper uh, with a new clutch. So, yeah. Uh, so, I got a new clutch fitted and that was it. I says, right, I'm off to Scotland. He says, take it easy. Well, you know, I'm, I'm 56. I'm coming up to 57. It's not like uh, I'm not going to be uh, like, driving around like Nicky Lowder, am I? Uh, so, yes, sir. Uh, I uh, got to the, the forest of uh, Galloway around about uh, 6.15 this evening. It was pitch black. But I found my little park space where I parked before. So happy days. It's wild outside. I only wanted to put the camera on and let you listen to how wild it was. And it's just died down. Uh, I'm here for uh, several days. Not just here in one spot. Uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm in the forest for several days. I have bike with me. Bikers hung on the back outside uh, like an unloved child. That way you would never hang an unloved child on the back though, would you? Oh, damn, maybe he's edit that bit out. Yeah, so bikes on the back, uh, like a cat that you forgot to bring in. I forgot to bring it in, you've just left it outside. Uh, and I thought the weather's going to be pants for all my time off. Why do I take time off at this time of year? There's a wee bit of wind there. That's not me with shaky hands, that's actually the van rocking. And I was trying to think, well, where, where have you parked? What if the wind gets too much? Well, it blows over the side. Uh, especially if I'm sleeping on that side. There's a possibility. I'm back for a good video. Uh, Reed, I will shut up and get off uh, just for to say hello. Uh, I've got a new clutch. Uh, thank you. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow. I'm in my little, my little lovely little lingo. It's an absolute tip in here tonight. That's... That's... <sighs> Looks like I'm bringing woodwork projects out with this. I'm not. That's the front of me, of me, uh, my ensuite area. That I'll have to be utilising action shots. That I'll have to be utilising soon because uh, I'm a, of an age when I need an ensuite uh, quite a bit. So I'm going to get changed into my lingerie. Uh, when I say lingerie, I just mean a pair of tracksuit bottoms and a bed, and a bed jumper. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to get changed into my uh, my nighttime lingerie. Uh, kick back and relax and hey let's get this camera rolling eh let's have let's have a little adventure eh me news i'll see you tomorrow unless it gets up really bad and then i'll put it back on and you can go yeah it's got up really bad for her it's really windy outside unless that's just no that's windy I'm just having a quick stop off at the, uh, the Wild Goat Park. There you go. A modern primitive, I know the feeling. Uh, Wild Goat Park, that's what we're going to be looking out for today. Let's see if we can spot any of these elusive animals. Uh, but where I would find one, I'm unsure. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, hello elusive animal. Hiya, Wild Goat. Not often you get up this close and personal to them. You are a little cutie, aren't you? Eh? You're a little cutie. <laughs> Kiss a look at you. You're very photogenic. There is yonder posse of wild goats. 
You were the poster material. Yeah? I was trying to eat my camera. Yeah. Hey, get off. The hungry little the hungry little beasts. That isn't to eat. No, no, no. They're very good at poking their heads through and wanting to eat your camera, aren't you? Eh? Our little horns, little devil horns. What? No, no. Because you'll have his. You'll have his, won't you? That's not for eating. Yeah, watch this one. Watch its face. And you've got the joy of bread. Watch its face. Watch its little teeth come out. My little teeth come out. Here's your little teeth. There. Oh, yes, I like that, aren't you? Huh? Um, for the babies. Uh, for the babies. For the babies. For the babies. You're loving it. I tell you what, just because you've got a funny face, you'll get more. Oh, a noisy eater. Now I don't do noisy eaters. Yeah, they're little pigs, aren't they? Hey! That's it. That's it. You! No, look at your, look at your weird eyes. Right, they're just for... That's it. Look at that one, because you've got a long neck. You! Just because I don't know, I quite like you. I like the colour of your... The colour of your fur. So there you have it, Donovan Senior reporting from the Wild Goat, the Wild Goat Horse Park, Park, the Wild Goat Park uh, in Dumfries and Galloway, heading to Newton Stewart because the day's pants, you know, and the only thing with tiny living is getting things dry. Uh, so I may just have a relaxing one today, ease myself into my holidays. <laughs> Any excuse eh? Uh, Oh, and fondle a baby goat. just been up there well not right at the top because you can't you can't scale it well certainly not my age and my size haha <laughs> uh, but I've been to the base of the uh, of the statue which has got beautiful panoramic views let's have a look around it's not about the statue the monument it's a monument it's about the views from the monument why did I come up here because I had a nasty dinner uh, I had a nasty dinner I went to the chippy in Newton Stewart and Blokes got to make his living, uh, that people might like the chippy. To me, it wasn't to my taste. Maybe I hit it on a, a bad a bad day. Uh, so I just can't stop tasting the, the chips that I had, and they weren't very good. So I decided I need to get some exercise in, try and get rid of the chips, burn the, burn the chips off uh, internally. Uh, so I've, all my life, ever since I've been a baby, and we used to drive past you. We used to drive past you out when I was in a little car seat when I was when I was little in a uh, in a little Vauxhall uh, a Vauxhall Viva uh, back in the sixties. Uh, totally making this up, don't believe us. Uh, and I used to drive past you out, and I used to just look, look me little eyes up. Now you put me little dumb mute, like I smoked a tab. Yeah, put me little dumb mute. i will be like in my head because I couldn't talk. I was that young. One day I'm gonna pure climb that. Uh, so today's the day. Uh, thanks to the chips uh, at Newton Stewart, I've been up there, done it. It's ticked off the list, ticked off the old bucket list. Uh, about the chippy. So, which chippy is it, Donna? I'm unsure how many other chippies they are, but this one was uh, eloquently called the Starfish. It's a bit of a peculiar name for a chip shop, isn't it? Eh? Selling chips and kebabs and chocolate. Yeah. Uh, but have you, when has anybody gone into a chippy and said, uh, "I'll have starfish and chips, please"? Uh, not even Prince would say that, would he? He'd have starfish and coffee. But I do digress there. You can't be a Prince fan to get that one. Uh, so yeah, the, the starfish. Uh, £2.50 I've wasted it to starfish on chips and I just can't stop tasting them. Oh, so yeah, this was me trying to uh, redeem myself, get a little bit of exercise in, in between showers. And when I say showers, 
torrential rain that's what i mean torrential rain uh you can see that oxbow river down there one thing you learn at school you can see the oxbow in the river down there uh, is in full speed after the, the, the rain we had last night so a uh, little day reporter from uh, murray's monument i think that was the guy that made the, the hard-boiled mint uh Obviously, Scotland, Scotland, G out of the heart. So, uh, visiting uh, the, 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 the Mint Monument uh, of Murray's. Trying to work off the calories of some nasty chip, chips from a starfish. <laughs> what type of life do I lead? Eh? What type of life do I live? Eh? Now, we're about to feed the goats now. I should have kept some chips for the goats, couldn't I? Eh? No, greedy sod, eh? who ate all the chips? It's because you didn't get that many for 2 50 uh, I was wanting to get me money's worth, feedy sod. Serves us right, starfish. Should have been some mint at the top, get the taste out of my mouth. Uh, read, little D, uh, reporting like nobody else can, uh, from the D&G, uh, and I'll catch you later, peeps, toodles. Pardon me. Yeah, I'm so sorry. It's because I'm sitting in a bourbon position. Oh, that's missing this. So I'm uh, bending this over so I can rub me back. That sounds really bad. No. <laughs> that sounds really bad. No, no, don't. So this is me library area. Yeah, I've got my Northumberland sticker there. But I keep it on the inside so that people don't know I'm a tourist. But I'm still proud of Northumberland, but just from the inside. Uh, and then that's my colouring in station. These are my maps. That's colouring and book. Then that there's a couple of little tablets, uh, but like not like ibuprofen. They're the one like tablets that I'll put a film on. So I just decided to put them there tonight. So I'm really pleased with the work I've done uh, with rearranging the van and putting the tablets there. <sighs> it's what you do though, isn't it? You just sort of come into your van and I'll tell you what else I've done. <sighs> see that? I, I can't see where my hand is. That there, yeah. I used to be in my kitchen and I just thought, oh, I'll just put it in here. So I did, yeah, and then I got this cup, yeah, from when we went to see the, the cure, uh, the hydro in Glasgow. So instead of, like, cashing that in for a pound, I kept that bad boy. And in there, yeah, I can keep a pair of glasses, yeah. My brushing of the tooth things and a Kendall mint cake. Oh, Phil, thanks, Phil. I've still got that. It's a little, a little bit whiffy now, like, but I'm going to eat that this weekend. It's not even the weekend. Yeah. So, yeah, just like more exciting things in the, the life of a, a leisure banner or a leisure lingua. Just going to kick back and relax and listen to that. You see, I think I turned that off, man. I would be professional. Uh, in a bit, peeps. The slider door, van view this morning. That's not mine, it'll be there. And that is it. It's miserable. It's miserable. I'm miserable looking at it. I need a plan B. I am just not feeling the Galloway Forest at the minute. So. I had a nice day yesterday. I enjoyed it. Didn't do too much. Uh, three or four things and went to Newton Stewart and had them lush chips. Oh. I planned on doing stuff with bike around here. The one thing with tiny living is it's getting dry. Uh, if you get stuff wet, it's how do you dry it. It's really hard to get things dry. I'm wimping out of this one. That's why I've got a, that's why I've got a little camper. I don't have to camp all the time. Uh, but in my little head, I let myself down if I'm not out in a tent. How stupid's that? <laughs> it's just it's just the way I am. Uh, I am heading east. Uh, the weather looks marginally better east. This is just uh, waves and waves of biblical rain and mist and uh, dreariness heading this way. Unfortunately, I don't know how it gets this much bad bad luck here. Uh, I am heading towards St Mary's Lock, uh, and then I'm going to continue heading east uh, up until Sunday. I hope you meet it with my son on Sunday. What a nice hug. Um, back to work, uh, back to Newcastle Monday and work Tuesday. Uh, it is Thursday today, so my plan of attack is I want to sit somewhere like with a nice, uh, get me a little fire pit out and sit and have a nice little fire. I thought I hoped I could have had a little one in there 
uh, with my fire pit. So, but no, you should kind of get away from the blinking. Uh, the winds have been, it, it, it was four, the Met said there was 60 miles an hour on the first night, on Tuesday night when I got here. I wouldn't, I wouldn't grumble with that. Uh, I would quite, quite happily, yeah, uh, yeah possibly, <laughs> possibly more. I don't know, it was really, uh, really quite stiff, the winds. Again, last night, some, some massive gusts coming in. Um, and I don't really feel the need to be in a tent. Uh, I've got a place in mind. Uh, I am heading uh, through uh, the southern uplands, uh, past St Mary, by past Moffat and St Mary's Lock. Yeah, I think that's probably going to be a better plan for little Donna. Right, I've got a couple of places in mind. Uh, I'll see up the road a bit. So that's what I pull up. I'm just going to be leaving now. So I need to get nice views here. <laughs> that's a day. Oh yeah, it's quite tidy. Too moist. There we go. Oh, a little bit of demisting, and we'll be off.